What's up, Clemson Nation? One week, less than a week till college football starts, but one week until the real team plays, until the Tigers play. And uh, this is going to be my little season preview for the Tigers. I haven't actually made a season preview for them yet. And I just want to start off by um, pointing out some teams I believe that we are going to, to be beating this year. And so th let's start out. First, obviously we'll beat Troy and obviously we'll beat Wofford. Who knows by what margins. Troy might keep it within three touchdowns. I don't know. But uh, after that, I, th I think we'll, we'll, we'll be beating this team right here. This one right here. Yeah. Uh, the, the other Tigers. They're the defending champions, but they're not going to be able to handle the Valley. Especially without Scam. Old Scam. And then, this team's going to have to go down. Um, you know, I'm sorry. Y'all are next. And then, and then that one's going to go down. Yep. You know, we're going to continue it, you know. Who else is going to lose? Georgia Tech? Mm -mm. Who else? Yeah. Boston College. Sucks for y'all. That other Atlantic team? Yeah. Y'all going down too. Mm-hmm. You know, these bastards right here, they're going to lose. Maryland, NC State, NC State, you're going to lose. Of course, this team is going to lose. Of course. It was a good game, by the way. Good game. 2002-100 game. One of our many, 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 many wins against the Gamecockers. Now, uh, we all know the Tigers, they had a, a terrible season last year. Um, six and seven, first losing season since 1998. Um, so, we, we have no expectations for this year. We're like, we're like, we're ranked like 40th. Well, we played best under the radar. We weren't ranked going into the 2007 season. We finished with nine wins or something like that. Um, and this year, I think we, we have the talent. We've always had the talent, but I think we have the coaches now. I've already said that before. And I think that we're going to... We, we'll see some improvement now. Uh, a terrible season to me would be anything less than eight wins. Anything less than eight wins and some... I mean, I don't I just think that we should at least win eight games without a doubt. Um, we have, according to some people, the toughest schedule in the nation. Ten of our teams went to bowl games last year. The only team with a losing record on our schedule was Wake Forest and the Wofford, of course, the one double A team we're playing. They were, what, in the final four of the Division one double A tournament. So everybody we played except Wake Forest had a winning record. Uh, toughest schedule by some in the country, by far in the ACC. Even though Florida State plays Oklahoma, that may top for the rest of the schedule. Um, the Tigers are young, apparently. And on offense is where everything's been changed with Morris. Everything completely. We're looking to go more like Auburn, which y'all, I mean, y'all already all know this, but with our, new, with our new receivers coming in and with the old ones, we already have like Nuke Hopkins and um, we now have Sammy Watkins, who's already looking, I mean, he's a starter already. He's the only freshman who's come in, I think he's already a starter. He will have an immediate impact in returning the ball, too. Um, of course, we have Ellington in the backfield, who is picked by some to be the ACC running back of the year. Probably is the best in the year. And people, uh, people, you know, we talked about how we went 6 and 7 last year. I don't think people understand Auburn's bastard selves getting away with all their dirty hits, they injured uh, Parker. He played with broken ribs, and nobody knew they were, I don't know how they didn't know, but they didn't know he was playing with broken ribs the whole year. So that's what hurt him. Ellington goes out halfway through the season, and he was our half of our offense. We depended on Ellington. When he went out, we didn't have a good kicker. So everything came together just to completely screw Clemson last year. If we can avoid the injuries this year, we should, we should be good. Um... We, we just got to avoid the injuries because that is really what killed us. That was the difference between a six-win season and a nine-win season last year. 
And if we had beat Auburn, and if Auburn went in such deep, dirty bastards, who would have known what could have happened for the Tigers last year and how many games we could have won. Um, this year, like I said, Ellington, um, he he averaged 5.8 yards, had 600 and something yards in four, I mean, five or six games last year. And, um, you know, just he... He had 10 touchdowns. He had more than Harper did in the second half of the season. Even though Harper had more yards, he averaged way less. Ellington is just a beast in the backfield. We now have Bellamy back there, too. Bellamy, he got hurt, um, but it's it's a minor injury. He should be fine for the Troy game. He got hurt in practice or something, some scrimmage. He should be fine for the Troy game. Um, so our offense is just completely shook up. We do have we have a, a great offensive line coming back this year, and they they're playing in the scrimmages and everything. They're looking really good. Um, so that I mean that that's what Clemson's lacked over the past few years. We haven't had a, a great offensive line since 2006, when they were all they were like all seniors, and we just dominated up front in 2006. And this year, hopefully, we can do some of the same with this with this talented and veteran offensive line. And that's where it all comes together. Quarterback uh, Taj Boyd, he he's he's unproven. He looks like he's starting to do better, and it looks it looks like he's he's got it together. I mean, of course you you can't I can't sit here and say how good all these players are like like Bellamy, like Watkins, and like Boyd. I, I saw Boyd play. He played good against USF, but it was a desperation two minute drill offense that we were running. And you can't really go by that. Um, and Boyd, he he looks like he's getting it together now. He I don't know if he he learned all the offense. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the first game to see you know how much he's come since last year. I think we should have played him more last year without a doubt. But we'll see. We'll see in this first game. I think this offense that we're running is more fit for him than Napier's offense was, which Napier was more of. Napier just he kind of just continued Rob Spence's offense which just didn't make sense to me I mean it, it was terrible but now that we got Morris running more of a Auburn type offense and um, you know hurry up run first like Clemson's always been run first but this hurry up I think will help us throw other teams offside nobody else in the ACC runs this offense right now so we should take we should be able to hopefully surprise some teams and um, as far as defense, Steele bringing back a talented defense that we did we did lose some key players, you know, with the likes of um, with the likes of of course Gaines. I always mix those two like Daquan Bowers and all all the talent that we lost. But we do return a talented defensive line with uh, Andre Branch leading the way. You know, we got some we got some new talent there too. Of course, we we've had talent there. We still, we'll always have talent there. We've got some, just some good players, some solid players in there. So defensive line should be set. The cornerback we have we have better in cornerbacks, but they they were pretty weak last year, and we'll see how much they've improved. I mean, I I have faith that they have improved a good bit, and I think they'll be able to handle anything that's thrown at them because they are uh, veteran. And of course, we had we haven't had linebackers we haven't had excellent linebackers in years and now with this class with the top two linebackers in the country and, and with the addition of Fatigue Townsend I think the linebackers will be set for the next few years with um, Stefan Anthony and all those guys coming in and you know we're gonna be set there safety position solid safeties um, no, I think the defense will be set this year, and I think we'll have a top 20 defense like we usually do. We did last year, and we did in 2009, I believe. And Steele's just—I'm I'm, I'm so glad that Alabama didn't take Steele from us. They wanted him a couple of years ago when Dabo came the head coach, but thank God he stayed with Clemson because God, we need that defense. I mean, it's another thing—we would have been worse last year without that defense, without a doubt. But um. So I mean I think I think it's solid now for the Troy game. There's some in, some Troy fans running their mouths, some places, and you know they're cocky because they've won five straight. They've won five straight conference championships uh, in the Sun Belt, like I said earlier in one of my vids. 
competing not to be the worst conference. And they always sort of hang their heads on the fact that they, they've they stuck with some teams. They lost by three, 41 41-38 to Oklahoma State last year. Or not Oklahoma, was it? Not Oklahoma State. I don't know who it was. It might have been. I don't know. I don't think it was them. But they lost. They lost by three last year. Um, they lost in 2006. They barely lost to Florida State. They barely lost to LSU. And they barely lost to Alabama all over the last few years. But they did lose. They got blasted by South Carolina last year and lost to the likes of UAB. They had an eight and five record, and I mean they had some sparks, but uh, they're not returning. They're not returning a lot of their talent. And Troy, I, I don't see you staying within three touchdowns. It'll be early. It'll be close early on, but I don't see you staying within three touchdowns. I just don't see it. And uh, I think you might keep it close at the beginning, but like always, like Clemson always does against you non-BACES schools, we will pull away for good and start preparing for Wofford and Auburn ultimately. But Troy, I mean, it'll be a packed house. It'll be loud for the first quarter and a half before we just completely blow you out. And, you know, you can say what you want. You can say, well, you stuck with those teams. Well, Clemson's a team with a chip on their shoulder this year. And, you know, these they want to win. And they are motivated this year. And I think that we will see the Tigers come out strong in this game just to prove, you know, to get everybody's attention. And, you know, they're, they're not going to be taking any mercy on Troy. You know, Wofford's in a story. We'll probably beat them by about 40 and then put our second and third string in like we did against Presbyterian. Of course, Wofford's decent. Heck, they almost beat South Carolina on every time they play them. Um, but... Wofford hopefully it should be easy. And then we move on to Auburn. We got Florida State. First four games are at home, and then uh, three of the last. We only have three more home games after September, which I hate. Um, so then we play Florida State. And then we play at Virginia Tech, and that's the toughest three-game stretch in college football by far for anybody. We got the defending national champion, defending Atlantic champion, and the defending ACC champion all in a row. Two at home, one away. So if Clemson gets through that with a two and one record, then we should definitely be in the top twenty. Um, and you bet, I, I gotta hope for undefeated in that. I gotta hope that this coaching staff and that this team will believe. That it will believe. And you know, I think this is our year to just to. I mean, maybe not to ultimately win the conference, but to get it together and for the next few years just to, to get back to where we were, you know, before the slide start, before the coaching failure started. Um, we haven't had coordinators like this since 2000 when we had, when we had um, Rod, Rich Rod as our offensive coordinator and before he left. And, you know, this, this is going to be, I think this is going to be a special year for Clemson. I, I really think it is. Uh, we're under the radar. We play great under the radar. We play terrible when we're when we start the season ranked. I think we all know that. Hey, last time we started in the top ten, we had the talent, but not the coaching. We didn't go into that Alabama game motivated at all, and we got blown out. And that sucked for me. I had front row seats to that game. That was the worst. I was so. I mean, I don't even want to talk about that game. I'll talk about it some other time. But anyway, Clemson football this year, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to compete. I think we're ready to win the Atlantic. I think we're ready to win the ACC. I think we got the coaches to finally do it because we have the talent. I don't care what you say. Virginia Tech doesn't have our talent. Georgia Tech doesn't have our talent. Um, Miami doesn't have our talent. Florida State, uh, they might have our talent. We'll see who wins the coaching battle between these two. South Carolina, you're pretty talented. Um, Auburn, I mean, I think some people are overlooking you, but uh, y'all are about even with Clemson. Clemson younger this year. Y'all probably have a little more, but I think the Tigers have had the talent, as much talent as anybody in the nation the last few years, just not the coaching. So now I have faith in the coaching. We need you guys just to step it up. We need smart plays. We need smart plays by the players. Just we can't. We have to go into every game. Don't overlook anybody. Don't just be prepared, guys. Let's go. I have faith in the Tigers this year. So let's go get it. Let's go win. 
and I will be I don't know if I'll make another video before the Troy game next week I might I'll probably make a video at it like I said but I don't know if I'll, this might be my actual last preseason video I'm so ready for college football man it's here it's finally here and we're ready for it sorry I know this video is way too long but you know this is my Clemson preview uh, my, my official statement, no, this is what I'm officially saying. I want to say we're going to go undefeated, but here's my official, I'm guessing we're going to go 9-3. and three. I'm not going to say who we lose to. It's just my re final regular season, 9-3, and three, and, you know, that, that's, that's all I'm going to say. That, that's my final record. Uh, I'll say six or seven conference wins but that, that's what I'm that's what I'm going with go Tigers let's go get it and prove me wrong let's do better than that